first love that I'm feeling? After a brief reunion with my twin flame after three years of running, we both tried to define and make sense of what we felt, and didn't feel, for each other by trying to fit our connection it into a pre-labeled box of friend, lover, future partner etc. Unfortunately translating the twin flame connection into earthly terms proves impossible since it will not fit any preconceived notions regarding love and ideal partners. What's more, we find ourselves confused and thrown off track. Because the connection involves the totality of all human emotions including those of a friend, lover, parent, child, teacher, student and many more, and these can all be felt separately or together in endless combinations. We expect to feel giddy with excitement with butterflies in our stomachs but instead we feel the deep pride of a mother one moment, and the love of a sister for her dear brother the next followed by an unmistakable sexual pull towards them. The breadth and width of these emotions simply cannot be put into one neatly labeled box. In addition, our socially conditioned beliefs, airbrushed ideals of beauty and outdated templates all contribute to the image of an ideal man slash woman that we hold in our minds, and which our twin rarely fits. Our twin is often unlike anyone we have ever been with or would usually be attracted to. We may be at a loss as to what exactly it is that we find so attractive in them since they are definitively not our type. On top of this, our definition of love is often based on previous experiences and fantasies of romantic Hollywood type falling in love associated with games of seduction lustful sex and romantic gestures leading into a happy ever after. Therefore, when we meet our twin flame we suddenly find ourselves on unknown territory where we know we are feeling something special, magical and effortlessly right, but at the same time we do not quite recognize what it is or what it means since we have no point of reference. A few weeks after our reunion in 2005 my twin told me he did not feel romantic love towards me. My heart sank since I had always known we were somehow meant to be together, and I knew of no other way to be with a man whom I loved and desired. This drove me inward to question what true love really is. I looked up definitions of romantic love and came across this one by Canadian sociologist, John Lee. Romantic love the lover thinks constantly about the loved one, is jealous, unrealistic, will tolerate anything, is sexually attracted by physical appearance, needs repeated reassurance he she is loved in return. I agreed. This was not us, but what was it then? In my writings and my mind I started meticulously revisiting every single lover I had ever had. I was asking myself whether I had ever really loved anyone, and had anyone ever really loved me? I was trying to understand what it was that I felt for this man I hardly knew in the usual sense of the word. Yet whom I would have trusted with my life, my children, my all, from the first day we met. I started seeing things differently, identifying behaviors and patterns and sharing it all with him out of some necessity to dig very deep within me. Like I needed to show him everything about me, perhaps to get to the real me buried underneath it all. Edgar Case quote about soulmates. The illusion of romantic love. My initial disappointment transformed into clarity as I finally realized that this kind of unrealistic romantic love, the weak need, starry-eyed kind of love, had nothing to do with true love. You see, our romantic fantasies fool us into thinking that all our problems will be solved once we find the perfect mate and fall in love. It is an infatuation driven by an emotionally intense game of ecstatic ups and downs. Its lows temporarily painful but with no long-term risk involved. Because it lacks real intimacy, we are able to hide and deny parts of ourselves to keep our partner happy and to maintain the status quo within the relationship, giving us a false sense of security which ultimately leaves us unsatisfied and yearning for something deeper, more connected and more real. 
In trying to meet our partner's expectations we take on roles for fear that we will disappoint them or that love will be withdrawn if we show them the realists. Sadly, by the time we awaken from this dream, we find ourselves in a loveless relationship, unrecognizable to ourself, wearing yet another mask, yet another layer hiding the realists. Or perhaps already in middle of a bitter divorce or separation, wondering what went wrong. The thing is, the codependency of this kind of unrealistic love keeps us from growing into a whole person, whereas true love is the acceptance of the fact that our lover is not perfect and neither are we. When we truly love someone we understand that each of us needs to grow, and that we can be catalysts for each other's growth. We can nurture one another, challenge one another and encourage one another. True love makes us want to be the best possible expression of our true self. It is not a bond of love. It does not seek to bind, possess or dominate, nor does it make claims of exclusivity on the other. Rather, it comes with spaces in the togetherness. Space to breathe, to grow, to evolve into a whole being. True love is an ever-evolving and ever-expanding truth which comes with no guarantees except perhaps for reverence for each other. It has no rhyme and no reason yet remains steadfast, unchangeable and abiding. There is nothing our twin can do or say to change how we feel inside. There is nothing they could show us that would make us love or respect them any less. Real love comes to us quietly with the stability of emotion. It is not a lustful, impetuous passion driven by sentimentality and emotionalism but rather an element of calm and depth which quietly slips into our life and which peers deep into our soul. When we truly someone we would never intentionally do anything to hurt the other. We only want their happiness, even when they make choices that do not involve us. 526,566 underscore 47769419563421 underscore 1710039025 underscore n. A relationship based solely on romantic love requires two people to constantly communicate, bargain and compromise to remain in agreement with each other. Since there is no underlying resonance, the lovers need constant reassurance that the other still loves them. However, the spiritual affinity of true love allows us to understand and relate to each other on a much deeper level. That of the soul. True love reveals an entire new dimension of energetic possibility, we don't need any validation or reassurance from the other since our connection is felt on the inside and the need for reassurance is replaced by telepathy and synchronicities, and generally being on the same page with each other. The only confusion comes when the other is not being true to what is in their heart. Since we are always able to see the intention in their heart, so that even when the words lie, the heart cannot. True love therefore requires integrity with ourselves. First and foremost, a twin flame can only ever love the real you. How do we expect them to find us if we are hiding behind a mask? And how will we recognize them if we do not even recognize ourselves? We don't even acknowledge our own falseness, yet we expect them to see us for who we really are. True love is a danger for our ego since it makes us experience ourselves directly. Not through past experiences or beliefs or our ego but by being alive in the now. True love therefore is an invitation to show up as you are. To peel away the layers of protection and social conditioning, let go of self-doubt, and start seeing life with your heart. It is an invitation to become more of who you are. True. We hope this channel has helped you discover where to start on your actual paths. It's a good karma to put a like, subscribe, share, and leave your suggestion in the field below. With all the love to you.